What's good YouTube? Today we'll be looking at how to navigate and using all the swipe gestures on your brand new iPhone 13. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to subscribe, leave a message down below, and thanks for watching. So right off the lock screen, you can use either the swipe up gesture to access your passcode or use face unlock if you have face unlock set up. To the right and to the left of the bottom of the screen are your camera and flashlight controls respectively. This is default out of the box for the iPhone 13. What you want to do is hold down to the right of the camera button to activate your camera and, and then similarly hold the flashlight button down to activate your flashlight. So now let's unlock the iPhone and go for the gestures from there. If you're already in an app, what you want to do to get back to the home screen is swipe up from the bottom of your screen. This is one of the most basic functions and was originally Apple's replacement for not having a home button. What you might not know is that if you swipe left or right at the same position at the bottom of the screen, you can actually quickly swipe between apps. This is of course useful for multitasking. To access your app tray, what you want to do is swipe up and hold from the bottom of the screen. Here you will get presented with all of the app cards that you have open at a given time. And you can scroll between them by swiping left and right on each of the individual cards. To close one of these apps, what you want to do is swipe the card up quickly and you'll see that you can close the app from the app tray. You'll probably notice that you can select more than one app to close at one time by using multiple fingers and multi-touch on your individual app cards. Back to the home screen here. If you swipe left from the top of the screen, swiping down, you get to access your notifications. And similarly, if you swipe right, you get to access your control center. Here's an overview of some of the basic functions of control center. At the top left, you can access airplane mode, turn on your cellular signal, Wi-Fi, and also Bluetooth. Below that, you can set your screen lock. Below that, you can set screen mirroring, your flashlight, a timer, your calculator, get to the Photos app, and of course, make a note. And of course, you have your brightness and volume sliders. What you might not know is actually, if you hold down on each, each of these individual functions in the control center, you have access to a few more options. For example, if you hold down on the brightness slider, you'll have access to dark mode, night shift, and true tone. If you hold down on your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, you'll of course have access to your accessible devices. And one of my favorites, if you hold down on the flashlight, you actually get access to how bright your flashlight is. Going back to the home screen, if you swipe left all the way to the home screen, you get to access your widgets tab. And of course, if you swipe all the way right on your home screen, you get access to your app library. On any of the app trays in your home screen, if you hold down on an empty space, here you can begin to edit the layout and the apps available on that page in the home screen. At the top left, you can add plus to add an app. At the top right, you can add done. On the, each of the individual apps, you have a minus button to remove the apps from your home screen. If you hold down on a given app, you have access to some of the quick options for that app. After long pressing on a given app or a given home screen page, you can hold down and drag an app to move them around on the home screen. You can also move an app over another app already on your home screen to create a folder for those two apps. And of course, you can move apps into folders that you've already created by dragging them over to the folder as well. Going back to the home screen, you can enable reachability mode by simply swiping down towards the bottom of the screen. This brings your app or every, all the content of the screen down so you can reach it more easily using one hand. So there you have it everyone, an overview of the swipe gestures available for your brand new iPhone 13. If you like this kind of content, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.